my battery is dying already. It is a joyful thing. Don't you love snow? I said we go on a trail ride today, Sophie, Sophie Doodle. Well, I do want to start walking with Daisy every single day along the road. Okay, good. On horseback. On horseback. No. Well, Gabby could ride on horseback and we could walk. Yeah, oh my goodness. She oh no, I forgot the other medicine. She's gonna Man. walk. Man, oh, I got this one. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday and Sam is at work. My girl be chilling and her eyes be looking good again. Can't decrease on the liver. For any of you guys who are just new and joining in, how's that for satisfying? A horse that loves her medicine and just takes it like a champ. Yes, you do. Good girl. Licorice. She wants you to try licorice, Penny Pickle. It's good. It's the red kind. She's like, oh, well, that, well that's a big piece, Sophie. That's, <laughs> she smells like, that's stinky. That's too big of a piece. That makes me nervous. Willow chewed it. Willow chewed it? Oh, well, I don't know what she did, but I feel like she swallowed that hole. Oh, I can swallow Godstopper's hole. Do not swallow God's Gobstopper's hole. It was by accident. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, sometimes when you do All right, it, so. It accidentally goes down your throat when it's like as big as your throat. You don't eat those ever again. That gives me a and heart think attack. You're gonna die and just follow it down. It's All right, so Sam uh, be tricking oh, Miss Penny die. Pickle, and he has the probiotic in her supplements now, and she eats it. Good. She just takes her a while till she figures out that there's no choice. I bought a licorice for Finn because I'm like he needs to have a good treat there and there. Yeah, I think our horses get a lot of treats, to be honest. Yep, but not good. All right, so I have a challenge for you. I have a challenge for you, and I have a challenge for you. Are you up on a challenge? $100 to the person who wins this challenge. Are you up for the challenge? Are you actually going to pay us? No, yeah, I'm actually going to pay you. And we're going to let the subscribers pick who the winner is. So we're doing this course, and I'm really into it. I don't know if you guys are really into it, but I'm really into it because I really want my horse to be able to lay down at my command. I want them to be able to go out into a big, huge field and then just do whatever I ask them to. I'm also good that Penny does it because she might lay down when you to catch her. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't ever do that. Okay, but anyways. Johnny. Yeah, so are you guys up to the challenge? It's going to be whoever. It so it's whoever nails the final outcome of the course like whoever is the most joined up with us so if penny does what like we'll have a little competition at the end of the course that course ends like in i don't know maybe close to gabby's birthday like we have a long time to work through it it's a 12-week course we're already in week three Ruby has a burn Papa. wait we might be in week four we're in week four so it's two more months okay so the end of march I just got really nice to, to this pony. But in the field, catching them doesn't count. Okay, so are you guys in? Are you in? Are you in, Sophie? $100 I mean, if win, you win. I'll win 200 bucks. Are you in? Sure. I think Gracie could do it. I think Gracie's the one that could do it if you put the time Willow in. Willow likes treats. Willow does, I know. And they're all doing well at this point. All right, guys. So that's our challenge. That is a good morning. Did I say good morning? Good morning. That is going to be our challenge. So we're doing this 12 week course. We have eight weeks left after this week. We have, so we're at the beginning of the eighth week. And at the end, we're going to do a little competition and we're going to show you what we got our horses to do. And we're gonna let you guys choose who wins. Who wins the hundred dollars? It's a hundred dollars. All they gotta do is work through the course every week, like we've been doing. Yeah, it's my way of getting the girls to get the most out of the course because they'll really try now. If it's for money, life always needs a motivator, you guys. All right. Can you throw hay or tell Sophie to throw hay? Yeah, because you always throw hay. Yeah. Okay. Sophie, your turn to throw hay. Come on, I want to see how much you throw. I can't see you, you can't see me. <laughs> yeah, that only worked when you were two. Come on, let's go. Throw the hay, come on. It is snowing, it is glorious. Look at all the poop piles. Don't look at all the poop piles. Basically, it's all frozen to the ground. We can't get it up right now. There will be a big spring thaw, big spring cleanup on the Day by Day Farm coming soon to a vlog near you. All right, it's time to let the horses out. Wait, not 
If you guys are new and you're just beginning to follow our journey, our horsey journey, you should know that these vlogs are about happiness. They're about fun. They're about finding the joy in every single day. They're about being a better you today than you were yesterday. And that is no easy feat, because let me tell ya, I struggle too, and you guys have seen me struggle. Abby, are you a better you today than you were yesterday? No. No. Are you more awake today than you were yesterday? No, not yet. Gabby is not a morning person. Sam and Gabby are quiet in the morning. Sophie and I wake up bursting with energy. Does it all become for granted with a wedding? Good girl. She, she does. She's like, oh, there they are, those ugly people. <laughs> oh, excuse you. Sometimes our vlogs are about sassiness, rudeness, and downright meanness. Because that's what happens in regular day. Everybody encounters all the emotions, and we are not exempt to that. We have all the emotions, and mostly they come from Gabby. Yeah, mostly they come from Gabby, who is going through the teen angst thing. The teen angst stage. Do you know that the worst age for teenage girls is 14? The worst age? I can't tell you how many 14-year-olds I've like fought with that have sent me pri private messages saying, you are the devil, and I've been like, well, not really. And they've been like, yes, you are. You eat whipped cream, and I'd be like, Okay, when you're 14, you need lots of space, lots of time. We didn't even catch cream in our mouth, so technically we didn't eat it. Well, that girl told me that I was uh, Molly, the on. cause of the rape Molly. and rape and murder of the dairy cow because I ate whipped cream. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, well, we didn't 14 year olds. Yeah, but we ate whipped cream, and that's the same thing, Sophie. You will feel the same when we you're 14 too. You will feel the same, and that's what but I'm trying we to say. The who stabbed the cow in the chest. Some, some 14 year olds don't go through that. What do you think I was? Do you think I was a Gabby at 14 or a Sophie? You were crying your eyes out the whole time. Yeah, I did cry. But do you think I was angry? And not that you Gabby's always Gabby. angry, she's You're not. Always do you Gabby. think I was the Gabby or do you think I was the, the, the sweet Sophie? The Gabby, because you just below. yourself and just sat there reading your book. Comment below, what do you guys think? Hurry up, I'm oh, gonna wait for go. you. Comment below, do you go think I was like Gabby? Full of teen angst go and like my TikTok. the boss of me. Go like my TikTok, Finn and Sophie. Or do you think I was like Sophie, all happy and friendly? I'm Finn and Sophie, go like my TikTok. Okay, Sophie's about to get a bearded dragon and she gets a few yeah. more likes. Yeah, it's 930 or 28. Finn and Sophie. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys I'm so now. Excited. Did you answer? Did you comment below? Was I like Gabby or was I like Sophie? I want no. you to answer. They because I want to see. Because they had to go like our TikTok. Yeah, they could have left to go like your TikTok. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you. I was like... Wait, I'm going to ask you. You think I was like Gabby? Yeah. Gabby, do you think I was more like you as a teenager or more like Sophie? Mm. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I understand Gabby because I was Gabby. I gave my parents a bit of a hard time. Not like terrible hard time. I was a well-behaved girl. Just like Gabby is a well-behaved girl. But... Nobody is gonna, was gonna be the boss of me when I was 14, and 15, and 17, 25, 43, 51. I'm still like Gabby. Every time anyone asks their parents oh, on TikTok ears. for like how many likes on TikTok to get a pet or a puppy. The parents are smart and say 100 million? No. They say like 300,000 or... And I said 1,000. And then they say like lower please, I don't have that much. And then they go for like 1,000, but then they get 22,000 likes. Yeah, and they have 100,000 followers. No, All they right. don't um, even have But I always like their things so that they can, their dreams can come true. That's I amazing, don't. Sophie. I'm the wrecker of dreams. I'm the bruiner of dreams too. Like I, 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 like, I pray everybody's dreams come true, but I ain't got I no, but I got no time for. Like I always like it, even if it's past the same. Aww, you're so I sweet. See I love it that. Because I'm like, it on purpose. I'm like, okay. Cabby, no, but that means that no, none of your dreams are gonna come true. Okay, so. Oh, good fidget toys. These breast implants. 
They're really good. So girls are at school. Gabby's having my fidget toy. I got a breast implant. I have six of them. Gabby, Sophie got six, but I knew she wouldn't get the clear one. Gabby. It's not big enough. <laughs> it's not big enough. We need bigger ones. Look away. Look away. Anyways, these are Sophie's. They are amazing. Like, I could think of so many people who would enjoy these things. Like, they're so fun. This is now her collection. She got more. See, these are nice fidget toys that she hid, isn't allowed to buy. She's not allowed to buy any. She got some floam. She got some gobstoppers, Sophie. That's why you're talking about gobstoppers. Those taste like rubber. Rock, paper, scissors. Kathy's like, I'll have them. Okay, no more candy. And I'm not joking. Um, she got straws. What are the straws for? Um, to put inside balloons, but they don't work. Oh, okay. Krabby Patties. Uh-oh. So, my favorite, you guys, I'm just going to do a quick rundown of all my favorites it is not the squishy tomato. Splat balls. Splat balls. I do not like Easter eggs. Oh, no. This is cool. There was putty inside of it. My favorite, she got another one of these guys. I love these. I like the white one. She said I could have it. If you give me the one thing that's in the oven. Yeah, I love this. Like, this is fun for me. Want to go outside? Oh, look, you guys. She rang the bells. Our deaf dog rings the bells to go outside. So, my favorites are this squishy guy here. He's really cool. And I like these. Wait. Those are my favorites out of all of them. What are your I favorites? Have a squishy pickle. Oh, I like the squishy pickle too. It has the same stuff. So as it has the same stuff as that. So it's almost like a cornstarch. I like these. I like this guy oh, the best. Are, so he's way soft. What are my favorites? So this guy and this guy are my favorites. What are oh, your favorites? Oh, my yellow one. Oh, what are your I favorites? Oh, I put those. In. Um, my orange breast implant. Her orange breast um, implant. All the splat balls. This she likes the favorite. splat balls. Um. This isn't fun. This no, isn't Rubik's really Cubes fun. are not fun. This thing? You like those things? Okay, Gabby, what's your favorite? Um, the color sword thing. The color sorter thing? The puzzle ball. Oh, yeah. I really like this thing, too. This thing is really you. cool. So, um, I noticed in the comments today that a few of you guys were talking about how frustrated you are with life right now, that things are getting really hard and really tricky, and just know that we've all been there. We all have days where we wish that we could just erase them from the universe. But here's the thing I want you guys to know, that this is what has always helped me whenever I've gone through rough patches, and we all go through rough patches, and some of us go through rough patches that are so awful that we can't even imagine how we live through them but we do so this is what i do whenever i'm going through a rough patch first i recognize the fact that you cannot get to the top of the hill without falling down a whole lot of times first so god uses those falls down the hill as a building blocks to build you up stronger and better each time so that you can make the final climb and every time you fall it's an opportunity to learn something sometimes i feel like you don't actually ever get to the top of the hill until you learn all the we things that you're meant to learn on again yeah we should gabby wants to climb a physical mountain now so just know every easter so just know that if you're going through something rough and you're falling and you're falling hard that it is a process and god's big plan for you that it's normal it's meant to happen and then the second thing that I like to do is I like to look forward. When you are in such a bad place and you just feel like you can't get out of it, look forward. Focus your sights on the end zone. Focus your sights at the top of that hill because there are going to be amazing things at the top of that hill for you. The amazing things. So just look forward. Think about the things that you want to happen and then just keep putting one foot in front of the other and you will get there. I promise you. I know some of you guys are going through boyfriend problems, marriage problems, job problems, friend problems, horse problems. Like there are a lot of problems out there, but just keep on climbing up that hill every time you fall down and keep on looking forward to the next thing, the next thing, because you're going to get there. All right, off to the barn. Can't wait Hi. to see our boys. Who are you riding? Storm. Who are you riding? 997. Who are you riding? <laughs> She's gonna die when she finds out she can get a bearded dragon. How many? Uh, who are you riding? Ten. Gabby, why aren't you riding Chino? You rode him last? I think you should ride both of them each day. So we better go. <laughs> I get a bearded dragon! <laughs> so 
tell them what happened. I have a thousand and three likes. What? I have a thousand and three likes. That means you gotta get to work, planning out it. Yeah, we just need to find a good cage. We found a cage, we found the hole. We have to go to the pet store to get the crickets. We have to find out about the crickets. We situation. have to go to the pet store and get crickets. Yeah. So it's true, Sophie is getting a beer to drag in at some point. I don't know when it'll happen exactly. We have a lot of stuff we have to work on. Uh, we found a uh, breeder, we found uh, a setup that we like, we found all the stuff. So watch for that, you guys. Watch for our new bearded Don't dragon worry, guys. We're doing our research. She's doing the research, and I'm helping her. I'm researching it on my all own because. Please do research. Do research, Please. yes. Hello. Yes, that's what we're doing I'm, before we do anything I'm else. Spend 20 hours a day with it. Yeah, it's not going to be this week. Oh, it might be this week. <laughs> no. Oh, Cabby! She is so rude. But I think when Gabby's rude, she does it for fun. Well, sometimes she does it for fun. Like, that was just for fun. She's a sassy girl. And you know what's weird? Is that I told you earlier that I'm just like Gabby. And some people are like, Ew, who would like a sassy girl? Sam. Hi, Sam. Dan. Sam loves a sassy girl. If I talk sassy to Sam, he's like, Oh, I love you. If I talk sassy to Sam, he gets his eyes get big and he gets really excited like some people like sassy people some people don't i myself Whatever, like a good sassy heard. person i want someone who's excited and wanna, wants to do like a lot of stuff and wants to work and wants to be like so i just gotta get like oh, wants to work. that's like me yeah, I, I like energetic people too yeah crouch oh i see them all all standing together oh there they are oh stop talking away yeah, Storm's leaving. So, oh, good golly. That, oh, God. Looks like Chino's neck is broken off. That horse. Gabby, I said no playing! <laughs> Uh-oh, that could get dangerous until she told him off. <laughs> oh, he's going back for the kill. And there goes Finn now. Now he's after Finn. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Looks like Gabby lost him. Horse shenanigans. Yeah, okay. Turn your body off. One thing that we learned in our course, I don't know if I've talked about, is about how sometimes horses think you're rude when you're too authoritarian, like. And we've learned to shut our body off. So that means approaching them, hunched over a little, your belly button pointing to the ground, being more relaxed. Well, you guys know Gabby doesn't go anywhere like that. She goes like this. Always so like, you better listen to me or I will kill you. Which could bode her well in some areas of life, but maybe not so much in the horse catching department. Oh, good golly. Oh. <laughs> Get away from me. The horse needs to go away. He needs to go home. <laughs> so, oh, there you are. And we're off to the races. <laughs> Sophie has my scared cat. <laughs> Don't send them this way. Oh man, see? They're going. So this is how we lunge our horses before a ride, you guys. Watch, I bet ya Sophie takes that horse and Gabby goes from the hunt. Alright. Is Texie going for it? Is he going? Are you gonna come with us this time? Yeah, I'll come. Tex is going. So that was a horse thing. Like that wasn't an us thing. We're taking that in. That, that horse. I, I can sew that hood. Chino, Chino was happy. Chino wanted to go. Why is he standing there? Because we don't want to run. He just ran. Oh, you're not riding him? No, I'm getting stored. Did you check his feet? No. 
All right, let's go get Storm. Uh-oh, there's a problem. Gabby left the neck and now it's getting eaten. Drop it. Drop the neck. Drop the neck. I'm gonna sew it. Drop it. Drop it. It's a tug of war. It's Chino's. Give it back. Who's winning? Share your toys. Uh oh. Till they get running with it, this might be funny. <laughs> Do I step on it and break your neck? Don't step on it and break your neck. She knows, like, but it's mine. She don't likes that horse. Oh. Yeah, he oh, and there he goes. Oh, he dropped it. Oh. They're oh now they're all coming to get it. That was a bad call, Gabby. It's gonna bury it. This guy's gonna it's stomp all over it. Oh. <laughs> They don't go for Chino. Oh, they go for Chino. He's like, Ugh, guys, rude. when in doubt, hide behind Gabby. Yeah, no, I do not see them. Yeah, they're no, gone. They're in yeah, you know. all right, let's go. Oh, here they come. Oh, come uh, on. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, gosh. It's a big boy playing. Yeah. Believe it or not, horse shenanigans make my day. Yeah, they're eating your blanket. Oh my gosh. Literally eating our neck. I need to sew that. Uh oh, watch out. <laughs> do you wanna, do you wanna come along with me? Come along with me. Do you wanna? <laughs> and we ain't got nothing, gotta do something, get it right. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live it live. All right, they're all going back home. They're all going. A whole row of them. So that was beautiful. Like that, my friends, was beauty in the making. Oh God, here they come again. Uh oh, we're going the wrong direction. Oh, they're going in the woods now. Here they come. See, when they're trotting with their tail up like that, they think we're scary. We're not even scary. It wasn't our horses that had the tail up and was snorting. It was another horse. It doesn't know us. The ringleader, the, the one making all the triple. Ooh, they're all just watching. It's fun, fun and games. Don't you come near me. That horse is a mean horse. That's right here. Besides me. Get away from me. This thing you're wrong. Oh, she's coming to save me. Yeah, I'll know that that's the nervous lion. Oh, Finny. Wow, what a good boy. Come on. Not a good boy. Go get him. You have to go with me. Get away from me. <laughs> did Gabby catch her horse? Yeah, Gabby caught her horse. Oh, no, Gabby did not. There's Gabby and Chino and Storm's going back. Put your hand out. Stand still and let him see that you got a treat. No, he won't. He's not a strong horse. Turn your body off. Hide the halter. Hide the halter. We need to be doing this course on these horses. Um, apparently you're a mean horse. Don't you bite me. Don't you do anything to me. Listen. Don't you. What the heck are you doing? Hey, right, listen. No funny business. No funny business. They just want to make friends with me. Oh God, there's another. I think I will stand in the trees. I'm standing in the trees. In the woods, in the middle of a bunch of horses, the trees are your best friend. They're not going to run into a tree. People say they're not going to run into you either, but I've had it happen before, so. Good boy, yes. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes we get caught up in the fun of it. Like it's so fun to have them all like running and chasing. But at the same time we need to like be calm and to like take control of the situation a little bit better and reassure them. But they're obviously gonna do what their friends are doing. Don't do that, you guys. Don't do what your friends are doing. If you know it's wrong. 
Yeah, he came to you. After an hour yeah, he's probably tired out. You're gonna have a good ride, knock on wood. You just lunged him. Is she riding Chino? Gabby's still hanging with Chino, so that means Storm hasn't come back. Sophie said, like, isn't it weird that no horses chase after Finn and be mean to Finn? And it's because Finn is never mean to other horses. And that's a lesson that's hard for me to learn because I already told you guys I'm a fighter. I always have to be like, nope, you're not right. Like, Finn runs from other horses. But in reality, if you be calm and let things just settle down and do their own thing, work out their own way, that will happen. That will work. <sighs> You're not chasing them? You're running Chino? Somewhere in the woods. Yeah, storm's gone. <laughs> it's like, there will be no spurs in this house today. <laughs> All right, let's go. Another thing I'm learning in our course is that, so traditional horse riding, you learn like you're the boss of the horse and that is it. Like you, what they say, what you say goes. Just like parenting, like oh, I'm the boss of my kids. They do whatever I say. Really? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, they actually do. They actually listen well, um, but yeah. that course is teaching me like, like when I work with Penny, yeah. I can feel the switch in me. I can feel like such a big change in me and, and I feel like, so the switch is, so the difference is this. When we work with our horses conventionally, they, we are the boss of them, we're superior to them and they have to do what we want and that's it. When we work with our horses in a natural level, we are asking them, do you want to work with me and let's be a team together. And we, we are making them want to work with us instead of, you have to work with us, would you like to work with us? And it's really working. I can see it working with Penny so Not much. With Not with Finn, but we haven't been doing it with them. Yeah, Finn would never gallop away. I feel like, although he well, did. he just wanted to join the fun. Well, he did gallop away though on his own. And Chino over there doesn't gallop. Yeah, he doesn't gallop. <laughs> he doesn't gallop. He just hangs out. He's like a, he's kind of like a Sam. He's like your dad. He's not a high energy horse. He loves to do like trails, but he doesn't really like to be ridden as much. He loves to do, just hang out and do trails. Yeah, like he is, he's the, He's a really good hunter because he doesn't ever exert too much energy. He's pretty chill. He can go faster if asked, but he doesn't naturally go faster. So he's not a jumper for sure, but he is an actual good hunter. Like he, that's, Gabby is even thinking about showing him an equitation because she feels like that's his thing. All right, we are home and Gabby is having a shower because that is what Gabby does. The minute she's done riding, the minute we walk in the door, shower. Yeah, that's that's the luxury of being a teenager. Anyway, I'm making supper. Wait till I show you. Fresh homemade buns. And also, I'm, oops, I'm making also a turkey noodle soup. Recently, somebody asked me, I think a young girl asked me, how do you make soup? Uh, the easiest thing on earth, you can buy soup stock at the grocery store. It's just like chicken noodle soup stock. It's super easy to buy. It's in the soup section. And, you boil a pot of water with your leftover turkey. Like, it's just leftover stuff. I usually save the whole entire carcass with all the bones and it always has little pieces of meat left on it. Throw it in a pot with some water, boil it, take the bones out, add the, the chicken stock. It's just a powder. You put it into the boiling water. It makes it taste like soup. And then once it's boiled down a few times, once it's boiled, um, you add the noodles. Presto, turkey noodle, chicken noodle, any kind of noodle soup. These are the noodles that we're using today. They're uh, extra broad egg noodles. We always use egg noodles. Egg noodles are my favorite. I like the little ones or I like the medium ones. Sam always buys me these big extra broad ones. The thing about homemade soup is that all the vitamins and stuff that you get from the chicken with cooking it with the bones it's called bone broth it's super healthy for you if you ate nothing else in this world but you ate bone broth which is just boiling chicken bones in water if you only ate that put some spices in there you'd be so healthy you guys i don't know if it's because chickens are given uh most food grade chickens are given antibiotics and if that's what it is but bone broth is meant to cure the soul cure you of lots of different things gabby and i drink bone broth and eat chicken soup 
homemade chicken soup often, which might explain the fact that both her and I never, ever, ever get sick. Sam and Sophie don't love it as much, and they're the ones that get sick in our family. I also cook these amazing homemade buns, and the trick to fresh homemade buns that are super easy is that you buy a bag of bun dough in the grocery store. So it comes in a bag. Basically, it looks like this. This is a bun. This is like a low, small loaf of bread. Same thing, except for that those were little buns. It's already prepared. All you have to do, sit it on your baking sheet till it thaws, put a tea towel over top of it, let it rise a little. I do that in the morning, and then when I'm ready to cook supper, throw it in the oven. Instant fresh buns. You can use this hack for like Thanksgiving or Easter dinners. Everybody comes and they're like, oh, you made fresh buns? And you're like, of course I made fresh buns. Like, no store-bought buns for this family but yeah those are my easy dinner that are healthy and good for you hacks although the bread's not so good for you or the egg noodles but the rest is excellent for you don't you know that you're beautiful